Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. In this video, we're going to be doing another raw editor comparison. This time, it will be Luminar Neo versus Photometer for the Mac. You might be wondering why this comparison? Aren't Luminar Neo and Photometer very different products with greatly varying prices? Well, yes, but this comparison was prompted by the recent promotional price of Luminar Neo, which as of this writing, costs $5 a month and $39 a year. This is a big drop from last year's price, where Luminar Neo costs $120 a year. Whatever the reason for this price drop, the price is now comparable to Photometer's price, which also costs $5 a month and $30 a year. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a comparison of which raw editor gives the better value at $5 a month. So let's get right into it. As always, let's look at the global tone adjustment performance. Global tone adjustments are those type of adjustments which apply to the entire image and is the most important tool of a raw editor. Let's look at a few examples of global tone adjustment performance from each editor side by side to see if we can detect any differences. As you can see, both Luminar Neo and Photometer give comparable global adjustment performance. Both exhibit excellent detail recovery, strong contrast, and vivid color for both shadows and highlights adjustments. In terms of differences, both have roughly the same set of tools, but Photometer has an extra brightness slider, while Luminar does not. So which one is better? In this category, it's hard for me to pick a winner as both produce similar quality and performance. I'll call this result a tie. Let me know in the comments if you find any particular raw editor better than the other. Now let's move on to the next category, which is AI masking performance. AI masking is critical for both Luminar Neo and Photometer because both their masking brushes lacks any edge detection and AI masking is the only mechanism on which to create a precise mask. Luminar Neo has a wider variety of mask coverage. It can detect nine types of objects, including skies, people, foliage, etc. Photometer is limited to subject, sky, and background. Let's look at the AI masking performance of both apps side by side. So that is the AI masking performance of both editors. Which one was better? From the test, it was pretty clear that Photometer has the better masking performance, particularly in its subject masking, which was far more reliable than Luminar Neo's. I found Luminar Neo's best masking was for skies and people. It consistently failed on transport and other scene categories. Aside from masking performance, Photometer soundly beats Luminar Neo in that it can add to and subtract from AI masks with other AI masks. With Luminar Neo, it is more limited. While you can add an AI mask with another AI mask, you cannot subtract from an AI mask with another AI mask. For subtraction from a mask, you have to use a masking brush with Luminar Neo. Because of the better accuracy of the AI masking of Photometer, Photometer is the winner in this category. Now let's move on to the next category, sharpening. Sharpening is an essential task for any raw editor since raw files are unprocessed and unsharpened out of the camera. When it comes to sharpening, Luminar Neo boasts of a detail panel with four types of sharpening sliders, small details, medium details, large details, and sharpen. As you can see, it works great in turning this soft photo tack sharp. Luminar Neo also supports 
AI sharpening with its Super Sharp AI, which works great to sharpen any image with one click. So you have a ton of choices and flexibility with Luminar Neo. How about Photomator? When it comes to sharpening, Photomator is much more limited. Photomator has only one sharpen slider, which, while it works well, does not give you the control and flexibility of Luminar Neo's sharpening tools. Therefore, I would say Luminar Neo is the winner for the sharpening category. Now let's move on to the next category. The next category is enhancement tools. These are the tools which make a dull image come to life. Photomator includes an excellent clarity and texture slider tool, which are great at enhancing midtone contrast, bring out details. Luminar Neo also has an excellent clarity tool called Structure AI, which also works great in bringing out details and improving the overall visual quality of an image. While it is close, I do think Luminar Neo's Structure AI adjustment gives better performance than Photomator's clarity adjustment. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Luminar Neo also boasts of an enhanced AI slider, which improves color and tones in a photo automatically. Finally, Luminar Neo also has a dehaze slider, while Photomator does not. So for image enhancement, I would say Luminar Neo's tools are better and is the winner for this category. The final category is other tools. This is really where Luminar Neo differentiates itself from other raw editors in this price range. Thanks to extensions, which Luminar Neo has steadily been improving, Luminar Neo includes several tools which are useful in getting better images and are not available in Photomator. Luminar Neo includes HDR merging, focus stacking, and panorama stitching. Among these three, I find HDR merging and focus stacking the best performing. For more details, you can look at my reviews on the various tools. Luminar Neo also includes a useful portrait blur tool, a la Lightroom, which adds a realistic bokeh to any portrait image. Finally, Luminar Neo also supports generative AI, which while not the best performing, its generase technology at least, is genuinely useful in removing large objects compared to Photomator's erase tool. So that is my quick look at both raw editors. What is my overall conclusion? Which raw editor provides more value at $5 a month? Well, despite its flaws, my pick would be Luminar Neo. Given its vast array of extensions, its solid raw editing capabilities, great sharpening, and generative AI. However, here is a more nuanced recommendation. Pick Photomator if you want its more sophisticated and powerful AI masking, its elegant layers implementation, and its support for iPhone and iPad. Use Luminar Neo if you can accept its flawed AI masking, need HDR, focus stacking, or panorama stitching, or its generative AI tool set, or want to work with both Windows and Mac, but don't need mobile editing. So there you have it. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know your opinion. Which raw editor would you get at $5 a month? Luminar Neo or Photomator? I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.